Swimming events wrapped up Sunday at the Tokyo Olympics, but not before Caleb Dressel could add a couple more gold medals to his fast-growing collection. The Team USA star took first in the 50-meter freestyle before powering the men's 4x100 medley relay team to gold and a new world record. He leaves the games with an impressive five gold medals. Xander Shoffley won gold for Team USA in men's golf, following a stellar performance across the four-day competition. Shoffley, who finished at 18 strokes under par, held off a record-breaking effort from Slovakia's Rory Sabatini, who shot the lowest single-round score in Olympic history on Sunday to win the silver medal. The U.S. has won more total medals than any other country with 59, but its 20 gold medals trails only China, 24. The chances of seeing Simone Biles compete again at the Tokyo Olympics are dwindling. USA Gymnastics announced Biles' withdrawal from the floor exercise final Sunday after she had already pulled out of the all-around, as well as Sunday's event finals for vault and uneven bars. The last event final, for balance beam, is Tuesday, but a decision on her availability for it has yet to be made. Biles, who came to Tokyo projected to win a record five gold medals, pulled out of the team competition Tuesday after one event, saying mental health concerns were manifesting themselves in the twisties, a loss of air awareness. The U.S. likely won't see the lockdowns that plagued the nation last year despite surging infections, but things are going to get worse, Dr. Anthony Fauci warned Sunday. Fauci, making the rounds on morning news shows, noted that half of Americans have been vaccinated. That, he said, should be enough people to avoid drastic measures. But not enough to crush the outbreak. The U.S. reported more than 1.3 million new infections in July, more than triple the number from June. Fauci acknowledged that some breakthrough infections are occurring among the vaccinated. No vaccine is 100% effective, he noted. But he stressed that vaccinated people who do become infected are less likely to become seriously ill than unvaccinated people who become infected. A federal freeze on most evictions expired Saturday after the House of Representatives on Friday did not pass a bill that would have extended the moratorium. The freeze, which was enacted last year due to the pandemic, was the only tool keeping millions of tenants in their homes. Many of them lost jobs during the coronavirus pandemic and had fallen months behind on their rent. Landlords successfully challenged the order in court, arguing they also had bills to pay. They pointed out that tenants could access nearly $47 billion in federal money set aside to help pay rents and related expenses. Roughly 3.6 million people in the U.S. as of July 5 said they face eviction in the next two months, according to the U.S. Census Bureau's Household Pulse Survey.